Yo, hello everybody. Sorry for the late start there. Uh, okay, just some, uh, you know, didn't get to uh, my studio in time. Sorry about that. Mm. How's everybody going? How's everybody doing? God, I need more coffee. Um, we're gonna make some skeletons today. We're gonna make a skeleton. I haven't done a stream by myself in God years at this point, so hopefully this won't be a total disaster. But uh, yeah, so this guy is going to turn into a uh, you know deadite of the Confederate Army, and uh, I'm going to show you how I'm doing it. So you're going to sort of tag along with me. Um, yeah. So I hope everybody's doing great. It's a beautiful day here in New Orleans. 60 degrees, 65 degrees-ish and sunny. Um, and uh, yeah, perfect day to uh, to make some skeletons. So first things first, we're gonna get some of this shit. It's called monster clay. Uh, you can see there's the tyrant Lincoln and uh, Dracula or a Dracula or something. And uh, we are gonna melt some of this shit down on the stove. Maybe I can adjust this fucking camera a little bit fucking unfortunate angle um yeah, how about something like that yeah it's a little better so uh yeah and come with your questions and stuff and i'll answer them i know you will probably have burning questions about the uh the skeleton making process uh it's very involved i i assure you so uh yeah Seems like everybody got a kick out of that uh, that Checkmate Lincolnites post. That's pretty cool. Um, oh, yo, Sully, greetings from Massachusetts. Thank you, thank you so much. All right, uh, what the fuck? I'm gonna need like some sort of knife or something. But yeah, it's about that time where I'm gonna need uh, where I'm gonna need to uh, make a lot more skeletons. In fact, I've got a few of them. Where are they? There they are. Got these guys kind of ready to go. Um, now we're going to look for uh, some tools because I came very unprepared. I literally just fucking walked through the door and had to turn on the computer. Uh, but, uh, you know, that was my fault uh, that I was late. Sorry about that. Um, but, yeah, you know, the production of... The Checkmate finale is going well so far. We've only really just started, but, uh, and uh, you can hear all sorts of updates over on patreon.com slash Dr. Shea Films. You patrons know what it's about. But um, yeah, it's going pretty well. Did the sort of educational bit, the last educational bit of Checkmate Lincolnites um, on Sunday, I think it was. Yeah, Sunday. And um, yeah. Oh man, this monster clay is fucking hard. And then we shot a couple other scenes before that. I I won't uh, you know tell too much because I don't want to spoil shit. But so yeah, basically the nice thing about this monster clay is that it's you know goes from very solid like this is you know some pretty pretty hard hefty clay. Then you just heat it up and it melts real nice. And then you can kind of sculpt it into whatever. I initially got turned on to this a long time ago during uh, when I made that 100,000 subscriber special, the the blue, not blue, the silver play button, whatever the fuck that thing is. Which, by the way, when they send you the silver play button, it's literally just fucking plastic. Like, it looks, <laughs> it's like, it looks really good on camera, but it's, it's just fucking plastic piece of shit, you know? It's uh, clearly very cheaply made. Uh, but, you know, I, I'm proud of mine. You know, I've got it in a place of honor in my office. I'm not saying I'm like above it or whatever, but we did the um, 100K subscriber thing where we had the face melting, the Nazi face melting effect, and some you know tutorial or whatever recommended monster clay, and uh, yeah, so that's how I got into it. And I've used it for a number of things. So essentially, I mean, I'm going to use it for a very similar thing to what I did. Uh, you know, in the face melting, basically what we're going to do, I got the heat on at the moment, but so, you know, we're just going to have to wait for it to melt. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add like a little bit of detail and stuff 
to his face. You know, just a little bit of kind of sort of, you know, make him a little less bare bones. Ha ha. A little less kind of, you know, medical skeleton, make him look a little more rotten. Maybe even sort of add some kind of vaguely kind of Cro-Magnon-y kind of, you know, like a, like a big thick eyebrow, you know, make him look like a little bit more menacing and stuff like that. Um, and, uh, and then I'm going to paint the whole thing, right? So this is just going to come out. Uh, and in fact, I'll probably apply it with one of these paint brushes. But it, this monster clay, when it heats up, it's just going to come out like brown. So then we're just going to add some detailing and stuff, and uh, and then we're going to paint it. So uh, while I wait for this to heat up, let's uh, see what's going on in the chat. Um, okay. I saw your film and it showed in Sydney. So awesome. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, apparently that uh, – I kind of wish I had been at, at that screen. The Pink Flamingo looked like an amazing – uh venue and i really really enjoy talking to joseph the uh who operated the venue and, and interviewed me um uh, yeah he's really cool uh it really wasn't the war of northern aggression really about uh slavayers rights uh, i assume you mean slavers i mean yeah I, I guess so but um your rights end in my opinion uh your rights end when uh another's begin you don't have the freedom to hurt others uh, been hyping for this. You mean the the not this live stream, surely? Uh, but uh, the, uh, the 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 ending of checkmate. Um, all right. Have you seen the dark humor civil war film? Men go to battle. Uh, congrats on getting married. Thank you. Uh, no, I, I have no idea what that is. I have no idea what that is. Um, all right. So um, we're starting to get a little bit of. Uh, a little bit of life here. I got this shitty Goodwill pot that I kind of use for all my, or pan that I use for, for melting all my gross sort of arts and crafts stuff. Um, so yeah, it looks like it's pretty much on the way to melting. And then of course I'll wanna cut this guy off. I also got a cool uniform for, for him. Um, found it on eBay or something. Some room here, I'll grab it. Okay. I got some wigs and shit too. So, you know, we're going to like cut up this hair and there's a whole process as well with the, um, with the painting and, and sort of the attaching of the hair. We're going to bring break out a, uh, uh, a heat gun, uh, which is, you know, probably put on like a little COVID mask or something for because it's really gross, but uh, yeah. And then we're going to sort of put on hair and stuff. Um, you know, I haven't done this in like a year and a half. So I honestly don't necessarily even remember the exact, I had it kind of down to a science when I made the original, you know, five or six, skeletons but uh to be honest right now i don't know what i'm fucking doing um but yeah i think one thing you know is sort of uh but yeah definitely put, putting the hair on is important you know a nice beard and stuff uh and then this is the uniform one of the uniforms that i got uh my normal uh child costume i really like this one this is nice it's kind of a shame that this one's gonna get all fucking destroyed and gross on on the skeleton because uh um, cause it's, it's not, it's a, it's a pretty cool uniform. Um, and it's got kind of the, the fancy sleeves, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, I kind of got it down to a science when I was making the guys before, but, um, but yeah, that was, that was a long fucking time ago. I mean, it's, it's a long time to wait for the, you know, the finale. Um, especially since the last one. On this last episode, it was like November of 2022. So, oh man, it's gonna be like fucking nearly two years. It's like we're waiting for fucking House of the Dragon seasons coming out here. It's like prestige television, but you know, it's like uh, you know, it's just indie shit. You know what I mean? It's indie shit takes a long time, right? It's just most of this stuff is literally just me. Sometimes it's uh, you know, I mean, I got uh, Eduardo, of course, my buddy Eduardo, who you guys will probably know from the. Uh, you know, the Sudbury double making of, and you know, he's been around, he's been around, uh, he's done a lot of shit with me. Um, and then, uh, so you see now we got it all melted. I'm going to try to, oh, I guess I'll tilt the fucking camera down so you can see, but yeah, all that clay that I took out, it's now all melted and we're going to fucking just paint it on him. Um, but, uh, yeah, Eduardo, sometimes, you know, he helps a lot with just like the more theatrical stuff. He shoots frozen fifties, man, and stuff like that. Um, you know, my buddy, buddy, big Matt, Matthew Ridgeton, 
who plays Jefferson Davis. He sometimes, you know, I mean, he helps and he acts and stuff like that. You know, sometimes uh, my buddy Nate, you know, uh, stops by, does some gripping and stuff. But the most part, it's just me, you know, and I got a lot of shit cooking, got a lot of projects. So, you know, it, it's long. It takes, it's taking longer than I would like, certainly. But, um, but uh, you know, shit just takes a long time when it's not a big, a big crew. All right. So I'm just going to add some stuff here so this will kind of like again it'll kind of look give him this kind of uh got to make sure not to, to get the eyes the light up eyes here but it'll kind of give him this sort of rotten kind of look to him and we're going to let it let some of this sort of coalesce a little bit and dry so that uh we can sort of add a little bit more here oh fuck whoops <laughs> jesus fuck yeah, just giving him a little bit of a, just a little bit of a rotten kind of fucking fucked up looking face there. Um, rest of the shit, yeah, we're just gonna fucking let, uh, uh, we're gonna let it solidify a little bit more, and uh, and then add like a little bit more detail. And in fact, I'm gonna put a little bit more monster clay into our pan. Is the monster clay? But yeah, you see, it's like, it's fucking hard, right? I mean, I need this fucking random, I love this tool. I don't know, I, I, <laughs> I got this in Home Depot, you know, I don't know, two years ago or whatever. I don't know what it's, I think it's a carpentry tool. I, I don't know how to fucking, what, what do I look like? Jesus Christ, I don't know how to make wood. But uh, it's. I use it for all sorts of shit. But yeah, this is like fucking some hard clay. But uh, it melts right down. It's nice. All right. Put some more of that in there. Have it melt, have it solidify. Get it nice and kind of gooey, you know, nice and gooey and viscous. And then we're going to add like a little bit more detail to his face here. All right, let's see what's going on in the chat. Thank you, everybody, for uh, the donations. Um, Zimmerman says, I first discovered uh, Checkmate at the height of the pandemic. And honestly, it was one of the things that helped me through it. Cool. That's, that's, that's great to hear. Fat Produce. Yo, what's up, dude? Uh, do you ever wear your historical hats when out and about getting groceries? Uh, no, no, I have like in my life, but but no, not generally. Um, have you saved the best comments to debunk for the finale? No, no, uh, no, the the I don't want to give too much away, but the comments, uh, you know, are pretty actually pretty reasonable. Hello from Region Rats 219 Indiana. I don't know what that means, but thank you for the five dollars. Uh, I heart patience, Gavit. Don't we all? Don't we all? Isn't she just the best? <laughs> um, all right, let's see. Grab some. Okay. This needs a little bit more longer to uh, to melt here, but that's okay. Can put a little bit more. Paint a little bit more on him. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna sort of. I think I'm gonna give him like a brow, like a nice. Oh, you see, it's already. Right, you probably can't see because this fucking camera is dog shit, but you can see it's already solidifying and yeah it kind of has like this real nice jesus fuck it, it's got like the paint the bristles kind of give it this it'll look better when it's painted and i guess it's kind of subtle on this you know 480p camera but it gives it this nice sort of like um uh, you know almost kind of plastered sort of look it, it's it's very emotep it looks it looks it looks good but again early stages early stages um let's and uh, this guy no, this does not seem that melted. Okay, is this gonna fucking burn my hands if I'm nah, nah. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna give him like a nice brow here. Nice thick sort of crow magnon brow. That's what we're gonna do. That's probably a uh uh an incorrect phrase to use, Crow Magnum. Somebody gets stiff and Milo in here. Can cancel me. Probably should have put on a painting shirt. Oh well. All right. Go. It's kind of the good beginnings of something there. Um, but yeah, yeah. So uh, it's interesting, you know, uh, uh, seeing people's reactions to uh, the finale announcement. Um, 
you know, I think I think a lot of it is like kind of newer, newer viewers and stuff, because I feel like the people who have who have watched for a long time are, uh, you know, they I mean, you know, I've been talking about this finale for fucking years and years, so I don't think it's necessarily news to, you know, the fucking hardcore fan fanboys and fangirls. Uh, but um, but yeah, it's been interesting kind of seeing the reactions. Uh, um, yeah, I think it's, you know, <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of funny with um, with some Checkmate Lincolnites fans, you know, where they just can't sort of, you know, they, they, the indignation was like a little funny and a little strange. Um, and it kind of is one of those things, right, where, um, you know, they're kind of like, well, but, but, but what else will you do? You know, and, and uh, they're just real mad. And it's just like, or your other stuff fucking sucks. And, you know, and obviously... There's no accounting for taste there, but um, but it's kind of interesting with the Checkmate Lincoln Eyes fans because you know I think they kind of forget uh, that they're kind of not the only ones. You know what I mean? Like there's it's interesting how kind of YouTube and the algorithm works because even though certainly the algorithm and just in terms of like kind of broad appeal and, and marketability and kind of an accessible format, Checkmate Lincoln Eyes is you know it makes sense why it's the most popular. Um, you know, different videos get recommended to different people based on what they watch, right? It's just the sort of, that's how the algorithm kind of works, right? And, you know, so in my experience, and I don't, I, I don't, I can't confirm this, right? I haven't fucking done a poll or whatever, but in my experience, it seems like the, like the, the, the Puritan people, like slash New England people, the Civil War people, the fucking, you know, uh, LGBT people, uh, you know, transgender anarchist gun toting people, you know, they're, they're all, it, they're kind of different camps of Autun Shea viewers. You know what I mean? And it's at least what it seems like to me kind of reading comments and seeing what people say and, and seeing what people have seen and, you know, and, uh, and it's interesting because I think, you know, even though the civil war people are kind of the biggest of those camps by far, I think, uh, yeah, they kind of, you know, just because they don't watch the other shit doesn't mean that other people don't enjoy it. You know what I mean? What will he do? It's like, you know, I make a Civil War video fucking maybe once a year, man. And it's like, it's pretty obvious I'll just continue to do what I'm doing. Um, but nonetheless, I'm going to fucking give those Checkmate Lincolnites fanboys and fangirls the most fucking epic and satisfying finale that is within my power to do. Uh, that's for fucking sure. I will not disappoint. And if I do, then uh, maybe you just have fucking shitty taste. Uh, ever thought about that? Uh, no, it's, it's going to be awesome. At least I think it's going to be awesome. All right. So we got him. We gave him kind of a nice brow. You see that? It's a little bit, man, it could be a little bit bigger. Maybe something like kind of an, on the nose. Uh, yeah, I, I, I sort of, I'm, I kind of want to give him a vaguely kind of primate sort of feel. So I'm going to give him kind of like a big sort of, uh, yeah, it's like a ridge right here. Yeah, that's nice. And this kind of looks like a Star Trek character or something. And I'll put, add a little bit more to sort of the bottom of the brows here. So they kind of like are overhanging uh, the eye, right? That'll be nice. And then, you know, all this stuff, it does seem kind of, you know, a little bit kind of uh, plastered on, right? It kind of looks like clay. But what we are going to do, you know, during the paint process, that's going to cover a lot of this shit up. And also the heat gun. Um, when I when I throw the heat gun on this, just to like give it a little bit of a drip and a little bit more of an ooze, that'll be nice. Maybe I should get the camera a little bit closer to him, so you can kind of see the detail, the fine detail that I'm doing here. And I'm not a fucking you know I'm not I'm not a sculptor of, of any kind. You know uh, this is not I don't know <laughs> this is very much amateur work. I'm not trying to you know uh, <laughs> necessarily yeah claim that I'm an artist here, but. Uh... Uh, yeah, I'll get the camera a little closer. You can see what I'm doing here. Let me just wash my hands before I'm before I pick up this computer here, or at least wipe it off. Oh shit! <clears throat> All right, let's get him a little closer. I got my computer on a mu music stand right now. Hopefully, this won't end in fucking tragedy. Uh, uh, there we go. Okay. Get him a little closer. There we go. Am I kind of getting in there? Yeah, you see, he's kind of, got a little bit of a brow. It's a little uneven, but uh, we're going to fucking make it work. Aren't we, darling? Yes. All right. Uh, let's see uh, what else people have been saying. 
Uh, thanks for the five bucks. After watching your videos, I can't believe how much people up north believe the lost costs do. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Bryce C., I think I know who this is. Something in German. I only speak American. Uh, new Indiana Jones. Is the Sudbury Devil still available to purchase? Is there any kind of viewer discretion I need to know before viewing in case family might watch? It is absolutely still available for purchase on atunshayafilms.com. Uh, don't watch it with your family unless your family is cool. It is a hard R-rated film. It is a film for adults. There are some shocking scenes. There's graphic sex. There's graphic violence. Um, you know, that said, uh, cool kids uh, will have uh, will find nothing objectionable. Um, okay, let's add. Ooh, oh, this is actually oh, a very light and fluffy piece of clay here. It's a nice feeling. Oh, nice. Give him that fucking brow. Look at that. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. Now that's what I call a fucking brow. Look at that. And we'll do another one, another big piece right there on the other side. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that. Look at that shit. Yeah. <laughs> now, of course, you know, still early stage at this point, but. I think maybe even, I mean, you're kind of looking at him from an angle, but if you kind of like, actually, what am I doing? He needs more of a brow. He needs more of a brow. What I want to kind of do is add, you know, is kind of have it be uh, sort of overhang a little bit so that the, uh, you know, this sort of, the, you know, uh, kind of give almost a squinty type of look. That could be cool. I guess I could go on the bottom too and kind of make him into a Clint Eastwood kind of squinty guy. Um, let's see here. Okay. Oh my God. It's almost like he's suddenly got something fucking wrong with him. It <laughs> almost looks diseased. <laughs> okay. I'm going to add a little bit of rounding there with my finger. Okay. And then add a little bit more on the other side. I'm going to pop over on the side of the camera. Right, there you go, buddy. All right. As that even now, it's a little bit, maybe a little bit more on this side. And then sort of complete the unibrow. Okay. Oh my god. He looks freakish. Looks fucking freakish. But I kind of dig it. All right. Now we'll give him, uh, he looks a little uneven kind of at his bottom. So we're going to give him some more kind of bulbous parts here on the bottom. We won't go too crazy with this necessarily. Kind of put it, yeah, there we go, just a little bit. This will actually really help his uh, his mustache stay in if I want to give him a mustache. To add some clay here, pretty pretty essential. Um, yeah, that actually, that's, that, that looks nice. We'll kind of have that come up there, you know, kind of like this was some sort of, and maybe we'll kind of, yeah, yeah there we go, there we go. Give it a little bit more like a fucked up kind of look, like a little less sort of hand sculpted. That'll be covered by the by the by the mustache. Maybe we'll make him a brunette. I'm gonna put some clay here for his beard too, and that'll even it out really nicely, actually. Putting in the hair is is one of uh, the most fun parts of making skeletons. Um, but we got to do that outside because of the heat gun and the fumes. <laughs> Probably shortened my life a little bit making these skeletons, which I'm sure a lot of people are happy about. Um, right, let's see here. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Nice. You're looking good. Yeah, yeah, and I kind of like how it's sort of, he's got some bit over here, but it's like kind of uneven, you know what I mean? Maybe I'll put like a little bit of a, like a fucking, I don't know, like a fucking tumor or something, you know? Yeah, just like a fucking weird bulge on this side. That could be cool. Yeah, like I said, we're going to paint him. So this is going to look significantly different. Sort of once painted, once all completed there, but yeah, just a nice fucking weird fucking bulge of some kind. You know how you see on like kind of fucking old, you know, old men, just fucking weird, inexplicable bulges. He's going to get one of those. Maybe we should actually, I do have a white wing. So maybe he could just be like a fucking gross old man. 
And I guess he's wearing like an officer's coat. So, um, <laughs> yeah, this is kind of weird fucking, you know, yeah, why not? Oh shit. Actually, I got to put clay along if I want, if he's, if he wants to have hair then I got to put clay on the back of his head because that the, the, basically the hair needs something to like attach to. Um, all right, let's fucking see about this. I need to melt a little bit more uh, clay here. Yeah. Looks like I will. There we go. Yeah, just putting on, you know, I'm kind of giving him like a, you know, almost like a balding dude kind of, you know, sort of the idea is just enough clay on sort of the sides and the back that we can have like some hair fucking like coming down here. But uh, yeah, let's fucking melt more of this shit. And I'm going to get a cup of coffee because... I did not wake up that long ago. This is the life you can live when you have, when you don't have a real job, folks. You can sleep until 1 p.m. when you're your own boss. Okay. A little more in there. Probably looks like I'm, you know, castrating myself just, but in fact, I am getting shit out of the monster clay, uh, tub right now uh yo okay let's melt this shit down see what's going on in uh, in chat here folks uh e minor thanks for the 10 bucks any do you have any interest with acadian cajun history as an acadian new england i'd love to see your takes especially as you've lived both here and in louisiana i think it's highly likely i'll do something about uh you know the acadians at some point yeah, I think that's I think that's pretty fucking likely, honestly. It was a Nola and took a plastic sword to the face toss from Marty Rob float. Yeah, man, you know, you got off easy. Fine town though. Contrats on Sudbury. Love Tate just released it. Thank you, Ryan. Thanks for the five bucks, dude. All right. Man, Johnny Reb went on a diet. Uh fucking eat my shit, dude. Checkmate Lincolnites has been fun, especially as a Brit. It's been fun to watch these videos that I had no knowledge on the Civil War, but love your other content too. Thank you. I appreciate that. And thanks for the five, five pounds, Jack Henry. Um, thank you for the years of entertainment. Thank you, Tom. Appreciate that. I hope Thomas, Thomas, Tommy, whatever. Uh, especially of your recent John Brown video, having uh, visited the site many times. I'd like to see. You. Thank you so much, dude. That's uh, This is so, uh, these comments are incredibly nice. Uh, except for that guy who... I made fun of my body. Uh, Michael Huff gives 10 bucks. Thank you so much, dude. Uh, you held the place of illustrious honor. Oh, my God. Wow. Among uh, my girlfriend and I's YouTube, sir. Do you ever do private tours? Uh, no. No, I do not do private tours anymore. No. A region rat is someone from northwest Indiana. Oh, okay. The Hoosiers seem to claim we're not Hoosiers. Yeah, well, you know, Indiana, I'm sure, is a very tribal. I've been to uh, Northwest Indiana a number of times. Um, there is, uh, I have family in the area, in the Chicagoland area more specifically, but, you know, it's pretty much right there, right over the border. <clears throat> Give me your face, says, hey, partner, love your content. Can't stop rewatching. Check me, Lincoln Heights. That's awesome. Uh, I'm glad it revived your love for Civil War history. Uh, uh, hey, I'm an artist who makes band posters. Love to make a poster for the Sudbury Devil. Uh, yeah, email me. Uh, you know, we already have a poster for Sudbury. But uh, yeah, fucking send me an email. Why not? It's, you know, Atun Shea Films at Gmail. Paul, thank you so much for the five bucks. Ancient Echoes. 70s neck lumps were big, says uh, Ancient Echoes with two pounds. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Oh uh, man. Um uh all right. Oh, that's funny. Oh, I guess that guy who uh who I thought was making fun of my skinniness was making fun of the skeleton. Well, that's good. I apologize for shitting on you, dude. Um okay. Just going over the other chat, make sure there's no outright racism you know uh, i didn't i didn't let any of the mods know that i was doing this um but uh hopefully one or two came anyway uh all right um does the skeleton have a name somebody asks uh, i don't 
don't know. Maybe we can maybe we can name him together. All right, I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna just uh, pour myself a cup of coffee, y'all. One second. Skeleton, why don't you uh, entertain? <clears throat> okay, we're getting some some serious meltage here. Yeah, that's that's melting real nice. All right, I'm gonna turn off the heat and then let it solidify a little bit more. Cool. Uh, oh man, some good fucking coffee. Um, yeah. So, uh, what else is going on? Um. Yeah, I'm glad people uh, also, speaking of kind of both Checkmate Link and Ice and Sudbury Devil, I'm, I'm glad people liked uh, the uh, that little promo that uh, that we did um, with uh, the Checkmate Link and Ice boys. Uh, it got us a nice little nice little bump in in, in Sudbury Devil sales. So, uh, you know, yeah, I definitely appreciate that. I know all the cast and crew does too, you know, um, as I'm sure most of you know, you know, vast majority, 90% of that money goes into the pockets of uh, not just me, but um, the cast and crew. Uh, so, you know, and, and I know that it's made a huge difference already in their lives and hopefully we'll continue to do so as the, as you know, we get more, um, uh, purchases and hopefully, you know, when the movie finds more places to stream and get physically released, which I'm kind of working on. It's tough. You, you need money to fucking do a Blu-ray release if you need like a lot of money. And so it's just a question of finding that somehow. Mm. Oh boy! All right, let's uh, let's put some more fucking uh, shit on. Okay, so now, if you're just joining us, we're making a skeleton. We're gonna name him when we're when we're done. Um, and uh, at the moment, I'm basically putting on some clay on his uh, head, so that later we can kind of cut up part of a ri a wig. And, uh, and, and yeah, fucking, uh, put it right on there. So yeah, he's probably going to have like a Mr. Burns type of thing. So I think, uh, yeah, I like the idea of kind of making him white haired and we'll kind of give him Mr. Burns sort of a haircut, maybe like shorter kind of white hair, um, sort of all around. There we go. There we go. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. I think I'll probably use the fucking paintbrush here. Oh, God. Who would have thought? Put a paintbrush in uh, in fast drying clay and it will get fucking stiff as fuck. <laughs> Who could have predicted this? I don't know. It's impossible. I don't need to fucking run that underwater or something. All right. <laughs> <laughs> fucking monster clay this shit is the best and and look it's medium this is medium it's not even hard monster clay shudder to think I, I would imagine it'd be one of those things where you'd like if you bake this in the oven then it'll get like really fucking uh yeah it'll 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 fucking get super hard and kind of become you know essentially pottery, right? I don't fucking know anything about these things. I really, I love arts and crafts. I love kind of the doing shit with my hands, but I'm not good at it, <laughs> nor do I particularly, you know, I, yeah, I just don't uh, claim any sort of expertise uh, in arts and crafts whatsoever. None at all. None at all. All right, let's fucking get that. Okay. All right, we're gonna fucking let that kind of uh, get nice and viscous right there. Just gotta leave it alone for a second. In the meantime, I can uh, talk to you wonderful people in chat here. Um, all right, so, uh, okay. Oh wow, thank you guys so much for all these super chats, holy fuck. Um, Bony Yank, Bony Reb, 
Paul, would you ever do, thanks for the two bucks, would you ever do an Evil Dead style horror movie? Um, I mean, you know, I, I, I kind of am uh, <laughs> with, the, with the Checkmate finale. Uh, yeah, I mean, definitely, you know, it, for a while, I mean, years, right? The, the Checkmate, this is a fucking awkward angle. It's fucking creepy as fuck looking down at you. Um, for, for a long time, you know, the, the Checkmate Lincoln Heights finale was going to be, uh, it was always going to be Klaus resurrecting the zombies. Like I've had that in my brain since fucking, I don't know, uh, fall of 2020 or something like that. But, uh, originally it was just going to be people in makeup. You know, the idea that I really wanted to do was, was have, was, uh, yeah, basically just do this whole fucking huge production. And I was going to like put a casting call out like on YouTube, just like want to be in Checkmate Lincoln Heights, right? Like looking for actors and all that shit. Like have people fucking fly in stuff. And, you know, I figured people would be like into it enough that they would like work for not that much, that they would like do their own travel arrangements and we could get fucking 50 people down here to, you know, somewhere and do like a fucking huge battle scene and get makeup artists to like make everybody up as, uh, as a zombie. But then, uh, and I was up for it. Like, that's obviously a huge, super ambitious thing, but I was definitely up for it. But I'm not going to lie. After after my movie, uh, after shooting Sudbury, it was like, fuck, you know, that's that's going to be a lot, right? Like, it was hard to, like, get fucking 10 people out into the woods, like 50, you know, like it's, uh, um, yeah, it just, it, 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 I mean, you know, it, it could have done it, but it would have fucking, you know, nearly killed me, I'm sure. But, uh, but yeah, after that, it was kind of just like, ah, fuck. Do I really want to fucking do that? But at the same time, I had like been setting shit up, right, for like this big epic conclusion. And I didn't want to do one of those things where it's like, oh, they figured out it's R plus L equals J. So I'm just going to like change it. You know what I mean? Uh, I didn't want to do something where I kind of was like leading toward this epic conclusion and then just not do that. That would have been so lame. And yeah, I was just watching Army of Darkness one night and I was just like, yes, right? Just like, yes, that's it. That's it, you know? Um, and uh, yeah, it's been great. I mean, we've had so much fun. Like the scene we were shooting on Sunday uh, for the finale, we had so much, we just have so much fun playing with the puppets um, and we're figuring out kind of new things about them and, and new ways to sort of make them work. Um, you know, I think what we're gonna do is is get like, uh, uh, one thing is get dowels um, to sort of attach to the elbows here. So we can kind of like, move them up and down like this, you know, especially for like sword fighting, you know, like ting, 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 or like chopping like that. Cause you can kind of, if they're in a close up, you can kind of do this, you know, I may have like these, uh, this, like, uh, this wire that we sort of tie to their mouths and have them, go, rah, 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 and have them talk and stuff like that. But, um, but yeah, we're sort of coming up with even more kind of complex ways to, uh, oh, damn, he's looking good. He's looking pretty, Looking pretty zombified, but yeah, we're 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 you know uh, continuing to come up with even more complex ways to to uh, puppeteer them. Um, it would be nice, like you know, we're not puppeteers. Um, it's just not our fucking remit at all. But uh, um, but and yeah, maybe oh fuck, oh no, maybe it would have been nice to actually you know fucking have hired some puppeteers. But uh, you know, it's it's fucking expensive enough, frankly, just hiring the actors and everybody. Um, but, uh, yeah, yeah, it would have been nice to, uh, but it's been fun kind of getting to know sort of puppeteering and, uh, yeah, you know, there's definitely kind of an element of kind of, you know, sort of a bit of a childish sort of element of kind of playing with, uh, toys in the backyard. I mean, I do think, you know, I, I think also kind of a reason that it's, you know, a good time for Checkmate Lincolnites to be ending is not only does it feel like just something that was of just much more interest to, you know, 2020 Andy, right? It's just like, it's, you know, it's just not really something on, on the topic or, or, you know, a fucking, uh, that I'm that interested in, you know, devoting that much time to anymore. Um, but also, you know, I do think there's a bit of a, you know, I, it's interesting. I always kind of intended check me Lingonites to be sort of for adults. Oh, I, don't, I can't fucking uh, make sure the battery pack is, all right, never mind. Um, for, uh, you know, for adults, and it is, you know, there's fucking dick jokes and all sorts of fucking insane shit in there. But uh, I think just the fact that it is, you know, that it's that it's fucking got characters and shit and, um, uh, and you know, and uh, I don't know, just something about the presentation, I think, has attracted like a pretty young audience. And, and it does, and I kind of, I, it's one of those things where like now... 
because I feel like whenever you know, it's 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 the, the New England videos always it's always like old ladies who like come up to me right and like send me emails and like come up to me on the street and like oh I love the like the Puritan thing it's always like fucking old women. Um, but for people who like come up to me with checkmate, it's like young white men, uh, like very, like young, fucking like late teens, early twenties. So I think, and I think it's, it's, and now once I kind of realized that pattern, it's just like, oh man, it's like all these fucking like young fucking white dudes. Uh, I kind of realized like this, this is a kid's show and now I can't unsee it. Like it is kind of a kid's show, but it's like an edgy teen kid's show. You know, it's because, uh, you know, you kind of forget when you're when you're a grown ass man. It's just like fucking teenagers. They fucking love dick jokes. They love that fucking most disgusting humor imaginable, you know. Um, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. So, uh, you know, I definitely think there's sort of an aspect of it that's just like, eh, I'm kind of done with this fucking kids shit. You know, um, it's coming out a good time to fucking wrap this shit up. You know what I mean? Uh, all right. So uh, we are going to it's almost about ready to uh, take this guy outside. Um, and start painting him and putting on the uh, fucking the hair and shit and the costumes. Uh, but uh, first, I guess I'll, uh, I'll answer some, some more questions. See if we got any super chats here. You'll probably have to bear with me in a second while I kind of like shift the setup to outside for the painting. Um, and uh, so it might be like a little awkward and stuff, but uh, stay with me. Um, okay. Uh, best average gaming. Thank you for the five dollars, Australian. Uh, have you considered making a video on the Australian colonial era? Era massacres of Indigenous Australians, drum rebellion, and all of your work. Um, I haven't. It's it's not my area of expertise at all. Uh, that's not to say that you know I couldn't have help or or something like that. But um, yeah, no, y'all y'all in Australia, you got a fucked up history. You give us a run for our money. Stoned Abbott, uh, thank you for five pounds. So glad you're making a vid about the 1381 revolt. Yes, yes, uh, I am going to do that. I'm from Coventry where John Ball was imprisoned. Want me to take a photo of himself for the video? Um, no thanks, I, I, you know, I could I could get, that's that's nice of you to offer, but, but no thanks. Um, uh, yeah, actually I might, um, I might actually possibly shoot that over there. I, it's, I, I, I may uh, go to the UK this summer so uh was in new orleans over christmas saw the holocaust memorial has my girlfriend's mom and grandpa on it Oof, that's rough man uh the city was awesome as you're following bienville on vid on the flight that's great um that's great yeah the holocaust memorial is by the river is it not not to be confused with the salisbury devil a documentary about the world's spiciest beef steak as long as it's plant-based baby uh lion's mane steak is a great one Heard it here, folks. Uh, you heard it here first, folks. Andrew likes playing with hard things in his hands. Thank you, Tom, for the incisive commentary. Uh, I love your early 17th century videos studying the Polish, Lithuanian, Commonwealth, myself. Fascinating stuff. Poles were Jamestown as craftsmen. Who were they? Interesting. I'm not surprised. It's interesting. You know, the uh, a lot of that shit, the, you know, the Jamestown, Plymouth stuff, that, um, uh, you know, early colonial America was so much more diverse than pretty much anybody ever gives it credit for. Um, you know, you kind of think of it, you think of the movies, it's all the fucking, you know, it's all David Thewillis and Colin Farrell. Um, you know, Colin Farrell was the, was the, the, the you know, diverse, uh, the, the, the diversity hire, uh, you know, in, in Jamestown. And the, but, you know, no, there was fucking people of all sorts of nationalities, uh, you know, in New England, especially fucking white people, black people, fucking all sorts of people. Um, military history nerd. Nice profile picture, dude. Hey, man, you just do a video talking about how the far right destroyed Old Norse symbolism in Swedish, and I want Old Norse tattoos, so it kind of pisses me off how my culture is stolen by Nazis. Yeah, I, I can imagine so, dude. Uh, I probably will never make anything like that. I think, like, um, uh, you know, I'm not, like, necessarily... I don't want to say, like, I'll never make a debunking thing ever again, but I kind of like the sort of... I, I kind of would rather present like an alternate narrative than just like fucking tear other people down, right? I'd rather kind of create than uh, than than destroy. But I don't know. I mean, it's not you know. I mean, uh, that said, I'm I'm not gonna fucking. I don't think I'm gonna close the door on that forever. And there's also ways to kind of debunk in, in a nice way. Like World of Antiquity does a great job at that. Although he is he is pretty sassy in his shorts. But um, maybe it's that mini minute man influence. But uh, 
but yeah, I always thought right the way like Dr. David at World of Antiquity does it is always very you know it's like very respectful, it's very classy, right? Um, so maybe something like that. But uh, but yeah, I'd kind of rather sort of just provide yeah like with the abolitionists, right? It's kind of like uh, which although it's the abolitionists has like uh, there's debunking aspects. Uh, what am I fucking doing? We're gonna get set up here in a second. We're gonna move him outside. But uh, the, the abolitionists has has indirect debunking because it's it's a series for activists and for progressive people, people on the left. Um, and it kind of obliquely sort of like tackles a lot of the sort of left-wing myths about uh, these figures and and that history, uh, but it doesn't do it directly. Um, I don't think any of, no messages that I've gotten have ever picked up on it, but like it's in there. I guess it was kind of a little bit uh, blatant with the, uh, the John Brown thing at the beginning, you know, with like the fucking, Sherman poster played by played by Carl Casarda uh, in an Oscar winning role. Uh, okay, so we are going to uh, we're going to set up. I'm going to set the camera so you can like look over in the costume closet, um, and you can kind of see what I'm doing here. So you can sort of have something to look at. Talk amongst yourselves. It's such a fucking beautiful day. All right. Um, now we're going to grab some paint. Um, let's see. Some white should be good. Um, maybe some brown. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, some white, some brown. Make sure we got some brushes. Oh, Jesus, fuck. Okay. Um, ah, yeah, we got some paint here. Uh, I think that's, and then we'll probably need the, uh, what will we fucking need? We'll need the uniform and the wig. Is that it? And a hat, I guess. And a knife. And scissors. One sec. One sec. I'm I'm uh, I'm, I'm working on it here, folks. Give me one fucking second here. Make sure I get my COVID mask. Um, for when I'm fucking spraying fumes all over the place. Uh, oh yeah, the heat gun. Need that. One second, folks. I'm I'm I'm. We're we're working on it. We're making moves. Shit is happening. All right, and I'm coming for you. Oh God, are we are we hem are we uh, hemorrhaging viewers here, folks? Hope not. Okay, we we'll come through the costume closet, the Atun Shea Films costume closet. Uh, eh, I fucking put in this black light the other day, which I really like, so it can uh, you can see all the semen encrusted on all the costumes. Um. All right. Right, here we go. Make sure we got a frame here that kind of uh, makes sense. I'm gonna lift the music stand. Oh fuck! Lifted it a little too much there. If the the internet connection gets sloppy or whatever, just fucking let me know in the chat, and I may or may not notice. Uh, we'll see. Not very good at this at the streaming stuff. I'll be totally frank with you, but um, I also don't really care. I'm going to change my shirt, uh, so if I get paint on it, it's also like really warm out. It's nice. Oh, the perks of living in Louisiana.
shirt. Here we go. A nice ratty pink shirt. Some fucking talking about right there. All right. Let's see what we got with this guy. So I think I'm going to do some, it's kind of a base layer of white. And, uh, and then we're going to um, maybe put some brown on there, maybe some black. Okay. Oh, that's a beautiful sound. Beautiful sound. Okay. Oh, shit. All right, that's a fucking rock hard paintbrush. As you can see, I'm going to use one of the new ones. So I make this rock hard. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll make this one shitty. Okay. All right, there we go. And yeah, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Those of you who are making skeletons at home, you know, don't worry about it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Again, we're kind of creating a, uh, a zombified type of look for him. You know, doesn't doesn't have to be like completely even on all on all sides. But you see how that kind of blends the uh, like already. You can sort of see that the the, the clay is blending really nicely. Ah, fuck, you know, what I forgot to do. I forgot to cover up the uh, the red eyes with tape. We can't get paint on those. That's really important. I'm going to run inside to uh, get some painter's tape. But first, I'll answer some more of your questions. Uh, okay. E Minor, once again, thank you. Uh, interesting story. My eight times Acadian grandfather, this is uh, the guy who asked about the Acadians, fled exile to South Carolina all the way to New York in a high stakes Appalachian Trail, got ransomed by Iroquois to go back to United with his family. Uh, that's fucking awesome. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. So many wonderful, fucking cool stories like that from uh, the colonial era. Dick jokes for eternity. I'm with you, man. I'm with you. Happy to catch you live. Thank you, Gabe. Uh, big appreciation for your work, Spills. It's really eclectic community you fostered. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, don't fucking call me human. That's an insult. I consider that an insult. Uh, no, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that bit. Um, I've always, thank you for the five bucks, Cabocraft. I've always wondered how you scripted the debate and Checkmate Lincoln Heights. How do you find what to make Johnny say and how to structure the video? Um, I mean, it changed over time, you know what I mean? Because, like, uh, initially it was like the, um, uh, fuck. Yeah, initially it was just like I would just see a comment and it would be like, fucking, what a fucking idiot. And I would, you know, then um, sort of base it around that or, you know, or it would sort of be like, uh, in response to like something that I would say in like my first monuments video or the gods and generals one, which was kind of what, even when my channel was small, it kind of blew up for a small channel. Right. So there was a lot of comments and, you know, there were sort of particular things that I would say. And honestly, it was kind of helped by the fact that the gods and generals video was like kind of intellectually lazy and sort of made broad sweeping statements that didn't really go into the details. And it's kind of why I dislike that video now, but uh, it kind of helped because for checkmate, because then people would say like, well, what about this? Right. There was sort of like, you know, there was like a lot left on the table. So people would sort of have questions about sort of various things that I'd said. And then I could kind of clarify it in a checkmate Lincoln Heights episode or whatever. It's like, okay, that's like a broad statement, but here's sort of the particular and here's the evidence and that kind of thing. Uh, as it sort of went later, uh, the, honestly, the stuff that I wanted to talk about was sort of like, um, uh, more like it was a, at a higher level, I suppose, uh, than comments. Right. So I would really need to fucking dig deep. And there's this, uh, a nice search search function in like the YouTube creator studio. So if I'm looking for a particular topic, right. If I was like doing the thing about, uh, uh, about Lee and, and grants, right. And sort of comparing them, I would just like search Lee search grant see what fucking comes up. You know, like I've said many times, there's only so many lost cause talking points. So it's like pretty easy. It's like, you know, a thousand people saying the same fucking 10 things. Right. Um, I apologize. My neighbors fucking, you know, got the mower going or something, but uh, there's nothing I can do about that uh, other than, you know, go over and shoot him in the head. Um, Fan of your channel and the good work you do, it says the king of somewhere. Thank you for five pounds. Uh, from the UK, we don't see many Confederate flags around these parts, but saw plenty when in Tennessee. Yeah, they're, they're around. Uh, is the Bobby Lee's real bones? Ian McDonald? Uh, no, no. He's he's inside. Lee is inside. 
Are there any plans for another Frozen 50s Man episode? Yes, there are. Um, yeah, it's just a question of finding time and everything like that. Uh, fine, you demon, says Gabe. Thank you, Gabe. Uh, your work is a genuine treasure. Thank you, Ian. That's so sweet. Uh, no real question. Okay, well, then you're not getting a fucking answer, are you? All right, I'm going to go in. I'm going to get my blue tape uh, and my coffee mug. Sorry about the fucking noise. Hopefully it's not too bad. Uh, be right back. Talk amongst yourselves. Why don't you uh, take over the stream there, buddy? All right, all right, all right, I'm fucking back. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, um, one thing that's super important, right? All the skeletons have light up red eyes. Those of you who are making your own skeletons at home, uh, don't forget that uh, you don't want to fucking paint over the skeletons so uh, or over the uh, fucking red eyes. So I'm going to put a nice fucking piece of painter's tape right on there. That way we can fucking paint right over it, take it off a little later. It's going to be fucking great. All right, we got it nice and securely on there. Great. Perfect. Okay. Now let's keep on fucking painting. Now we can uh, get real. We can get right up in there. Get his fucking eyes nice and white. It's mighty white of you, sir. It's mighty white of you. Those who don't know, that's a very racist thing some people down here say. Okay. You're looking great, darling. You're looking beautiful. You're looking beautiful. You're a star, darling. You're a fucking star. All right. Almost done with the base layer here on the head. We're going to do the, uh, the arms, too. Uh, though we're not really going to, we might do the feet as well, but we're not really going to worry too much about the legs. Uh, cause I mean, uh, smaller brush here. We're not going to worry too much about the legs cause the, the uniform that he's got is very, uh, he's got long sleeves. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I don't seem to be talking English too good today. Hmm. Okay. There we go. Get nice in there. Get right He's going to have a hat too. So that'll definitely help. All right, let's get fucking on the neck. A little cool. Back of the head. Getting some paint on my light stand here, but you know what? It's a fucking light stand. It's a fucking light stand. It's not on camera or anything. If it's if it is ever on camera, then uh, something is wrong. <laughs> then that's fucking sure. Okay. He's looking fucking great. What a beaut. What a beauty. All right. Now we got the hands. And when we add the detail, we're going to do it sort of uniformly 
for uh, the whole skeleton here. But yeah, most of this is just going to get covered up with the costume. There we go. Yeah, I, I honestly kind of really fucking love uh, the more I work, especially now that I have kind of a, uh, my own studio. Um, I really, really love just kind of doing this type of shit, even though, again, I'm not like amazing at it. But uh, yeah, especially with like the set building and stuff, uh, just generally doing some doing shit with my hands here. All right, now we're going to do the feet. I know the music stand is right there, but uh, I don't want my fucking thousand dollar computer to fucking fall. Probably rarely, if ever, see the feet. So I'm not going to kill myself with these, but yeah, just the fact that these are puppets, you know. Usually there's somebody on the ground fucking uh, puppeteering them. So one of the things that I had a lot of fun making for the channel was uh, the set for the recent Moby Dick video. Um, really, really loved that. That was a fun thing. It was just like a little afternoon project me and my buddy did. And um, yeah, no, it was just fucking, you know, again, just like just fucking glued some, uh, some styrofoam panels on uh, some wooden flats, you know, cut out a little window, you know, fucking nailed together a little kind of ramshackle church set. Um, and, uh, you know, through a green screen so we could have a nice painting of kind of a dock and, and a harbor in the background. That's something that would have been nice, you know. Um, maybe if I had, you know, thought, sort of if I was up in Massachusetts or something. Um, the fuck? Come on, you little bastard. Oh, Jesus, fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, there we go. Um, if I was up in Massachusetts or something, I could go to, like, the North Shore or something and pick up... Uh, uh, yeah, you know, pick up a fucking, uh, you know, a, some shots of like a harbor or something, you know, a nice sailing ship and kind of put that in the back on roll on that for fucking five minutes, loop that. So there's like a little bit of movement, but, um, but yeah, I, I, I love that kind of shit, you know, and it was definitely right. Like, uh, and I don't do it enough, unfortunately, you know, cause you, you, especially now that I have, that I have a studio, it's like the trouble, oh fuck, uh, you know, what I used to do when I was like, nobody was watching my shit and I didn't have any money or any sets or whatever. I was just shooting things in my house. Um, the, uh, you know, I, I would, I would make a video every week, but there was always some sort of like, I guess, creative thing that I would have to do. Right. It's like with that, uh, that fucking Shakespeare video or whatever, you know, I, I, you know, just like through lighting or whatever, like turn my library or turn the living room into like, like a London street or whatever. It's like through candlelight or like through a costume and stuff like that. Just general kind of like, you know, and, and stupid camera tricks and stuff like that, you know, fucking uh, electric fireplace and, and sort of just make the space into something that wasn't. Um, and, uh, and, you know, I do kind of miss that because I, I sort of, you know, I set up my studio kind of with the intention that I'd be doing all, all that kind of shit, like all the time. But the trouble is sort of when you, when you kind of get bigger as a channel, you sort of put, want to put more energy into doing like fewer things, but like more like epic things, right? Or just sort of generally like higher quality things. And I think that's like, you know, that's an important kind of part of kind of maturing, I think, as like as an artist and as a creator or whatever you want to call it. But uh, but it is it's you know, it, it is it is kind of a shame because, you know, we spend like, you know, weeks, if not months. Yeah, you know, I mean, for that fucking uh, the crypt set. I mean, that was months in the making, right? Making kind of like one thing, right? And then, and then that kind of gets dismantled or whatever. And then, and then we didn't really use the space. I mean, I used it. I filmed. I film everything in my studio, and I store a lot of shit in my studio. And um, and and there's always kind of something here. And I've I've also got you know various hobbies that I do here. Um, but uh, you know, but 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 uh, you know, we didn't do anything major until like Frozen Fifties Man Episode Three, which was you know I don't know fucking five months later. You know what I mean? So. But uh, yeah, I mean, even though it's it's kind of one of those things that's just like uh, uh, where, you know, I'm glad that I have a studio. I'm glad I have like a, a fucking, you know, small business fucking grown up type setup. But uh, but, you know, I'm, I, I, I don't know if, if the stuff I do now is I mean, it's higher quality, but I don't know if it's necessarily kind of more creative than the shit that I would do, you know, 
pre-COVID when nobody watched or gave a shit, you know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's interesting to think about. You know, sometimes I kind of miss those days, and I don't. Uh, <laughs> and I don't. You know, my my then girlfriend, now wife. You know, it's like I remember making the ancient Aryans video, and like her kind of like coming back after like fucking eight or ten hours of me shooting. And just like, you know, I mean, I fucking like rearranged the whole fucking house to make it into Klaus's little like bunker there and fucking hang Nazi flags. And she was just like, when are you going to be done? You know what I mean? It's like uh, no fucking wonder. Right. Um, and now I don't have to worry about that at all. Right. Got my house and I got my studio. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to get another brush. I'm also going to get like some black paint or something. Uh, hold down the fort skeleton, man. Okay. Got some black paint too. I figured that could be useful, but for now, I'm going to take one of the smaller brushes. I'm going to get some brown here. I'm just going to add like a little bit of detail. Just a little bit of something, something. Even that's like a little too much. There we go. Sorry about my neighbor. That's super annoying. But, you know, it is what it is. See, isn't that nice? Yeah, just give him a little bit of fucking... Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, a little bit, little bit of fucking detail there. That's real nice. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Nice. It's nice and fucked up now. Maybe some green, some black will be good. Yeah, even some green might be kind of nice. Just a, just a little bit of green, Not, nothing too crazy. Just a, just a scooch, just a little bit of green. Yeah, he's looking nice and fucking emo teppy now, isn't he? Okay, I think that's, uh, put some a little on his hands and his feet, but um. Ooh, that's nice. Getting his hands here, making him look kind of nice and dirty. The dirt of the tomb, the dirt of the crypt. Yeah, it definitely adds a lot. Okay. A little bit of feet stuff. Okay. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? A little bit of green, maybe a little bit of black too. What do you think? What do you think? All right. Let's see what's going on in chat. Hopefully we're not hemorrhaging viewers here with all the back and forth. But uh, if we are, I also don't fucking care because, uh, you know, I don't know. Who gives a fuck? Um, all right. Uh, Benjamin says, have you heard of the podcast Behind the Bastards? I, heard, I, I have heard of them. Would you be interested in collaborating with them? Uh, yeah, I would. Who is the biggest historical bastard? Um, Jesus Christ. <laughs> No, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Genghis Khan, probably. Uh, why do Confederate apologists uh, keep talking about states' rights really by seceding from the Union and then joining the Confederacy? There is just exchanging one federation for another federation. Um, yeah, so, I mean, you know, like we've talked about, right? It's not like if you think about the Civil War as uh, like this isn't a pro-Union thing, right? Like, I mean... I, but if you think about the Civil War as like authoritarianism versus libertarianism, you are thinking about it wrong, right? It's it, it's two different conceptualizations of uh, conceptual concepts of American nationalism, right? That's that, that that's what it was. That's what it was about, right? Like, uh, and both sides supported, and you know, uh, this is the case with a lot of um, two party systems in, in in democracies, right? It's like when. They were in favor each party, both, right? Like both, both North and South, uh, as as political groups, were in favor of states' rights when it benefited them. Uh, they were in favor of centralized power when it benefited them. Um, neither were particularly principled about authoritarianism or libertarianism. Um, so, yeah, if you think about the Civil War that way, and the antebellum, you know, the secession crisis and sectionalism. 
you're thinking about that fucking wrong. Like that's just not right. Like it's, uh, um, and again, it's like the, 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 uh, the Republican party and, and their predecessors don't come, don't come out that much better than the fucking Democrats and the Confederates do in that regard. Right. Like it's two different things of American nationalism. One thing that would be kind of cool to address is this idea of like the Lincolnian authoritarianism ooh, that uh, a lot of them talk about. Um, because, uh, that's just fucking insane. Like, uh, right. Like uh, just to sort of like pinpoint is like, Oh, Lincoln, that's when America got, when the federal government got super authoritarian. No, that didn't happen for decades until after Lincoln, right? Like just cause he did like a couple of fucking hard handed fucking, uh, authoritarian things. Right. So did Andrew Jackson. So did all sorts of these fucking motherfuckers, you know, in, in the 19th century, it's not till the 20th century that you see the federal government become, but you can, what can be described as truly authoritarian. Um, is there any American history west of the Mississippi you have been interested in? No, 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 that's not true. Well, there's tons. I don't know. I, I just haven't been necessarily. Um, yeah, I don't know. I haven't been necessarily sort of, uh, I don't know. I, I'm very, I'm very attached to place. I like, I like, and I don't go out west that much, but uh, I actually will pretty soon. So, all right, let's see uh, if we got any suggestions about our, um, uh, oh, wow. I'm real far back in the fucking chat. Sorry. I, I want to see if you have any, any suggestions about the paint job. Black velvet. I don't have any black velvet. Oh, well, I'm real fucking far back. Um, well, whoops. I am. Never mind. It's too much to fucking go through. Sorry. Uh, I'm not going to fucking bother with it. I'm going to put on some black here. Whoop. Oh, excuse me. Okay, let's fucking get some black in here. Not a lot, just a little dab. Mm, okay. Some black paint on this guy. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> Making kind of a mess here, but that's okay. Okay, just the teeniest, tiniest little thing. Yeah, uh, even that's a little too much. Tiniest little bit of black. There we go. Yeah, just a nice fucking. And I do think some green would be good or, or even some blue, you know, just something a little bit to. Uh, just to provide like a little bit of contrast. Um, oh, I should put some brown on this side actually as well. Yeah, just a little bit of contrast would be really nice. Okay. My goodness, he's ready for his close-up. There we go. Oh, that's nice. As you can tell, I'm being very precise with this uh, with this paint job right here. Okay. All right, we're gonna do some. Uh, I'm gonna do some like very kind of subtle little detail work here, just to fucking fill in some of these these gaps and then uh, I think it's it's about time to um to start can I get in fucking <coughs> oh fuck oh my god what the fuck was that Whoa. that was like a fucking sneeze cough lovely <laughs> exactly the sort of thing that people want to see in live streams disgusting sinus noises There we go. All right. Okay. And that's such a nice day. You can hear kids playing down the block. It's a lovely, lovely neighborhood, lovely community. Near a helicopter. You can see a helicopter. The government's spying on me. As they want to do. All right. Yeah, it looks pretty.
pretty fucking good, I think. I guess maybe I'll do, uh, I'll put a little, oh, Jesus. <laughs> I need a paper towel here. Uh, I guess what I might do is uh, is just do something like a little bit here on the shoulders, just in case it kind of shines through through the costume. I don't suspect it will, but can't hurt to be um, thorough here. One thing that is going to be cool that, I, that I'm excited to do for the finale, and this isn't too much of a spoiler, but uh, to actually fucking shoot these guys, like to fucking blow their heads off with a fucking real gun. Uh, you know, uh, that's going to be awesome. We can't wait to do that. Uh, oh my God, dude. Look at this fucking unprofessional bullshit. I fucking, I keep putting my brushes in the fucking paint. Jesus Christ. Fucking amateur hour over here. All right. I'm going to need a uh, paper towel uh, to wipe some of this shit off. So I'm going to run inside. Let's see. What else? What else? What else? I might get the might be around time to get the uh, about time to get the fucking heat gun. Start working on this. Um, yeah, I think it is about time to get the heat gun. Like I said, I haven't made a skeleton in like a year and a half, so I don't exactly remember how to do it. So uh, the actual steps that were taken, yeah, fucking, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, heat gun, hair, paper towel. Great. Be right back. Hold down the fort, buddy. So uh had a, had a real fucking uh had a, had a bit of a scare just now. I uh I I didn't take off my wedding ring before I started painting and uh whoo boy, I came real close to fucking uh getting paint on my wedding ring. And it's not it's not an expensive one, so it's not like, you know, uh it's not I, I don't know if I could I probably couldn't have fucking washed that off. That would have been bad. Haven't done much painting since my nuptials. Um all right. <laughs> Give me the fucking money. All right. Uh, I'm going to get an extension cord. I'm going to plug this in in a second. Um, I feel like there's something I'm missing, like some sort of step that I'm fucking forgetting about here. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just on crack. I don't know. All right. I'm going to get an extension cord. Hold up, folks. I shall be back in a moment. Come to me with uh, more of your burning questions uh, and, uh, and and keep those super chats coming. I, I appreciate the generosity. All right, be right back. Yeah, and you know, speaking of uh, of super chats, as well. Um, not only do I appreciate it, but uh, you know, honestly, most of it, most of the money that I make, um, goes fucking right back into the into this type of shit. You know what I mean? Um, you know, iTunes Shape Films, as a production company, is not particularly. Uh, profitable uh you know i mean i, I you know I'm, I'm not like i i i'm you know i'm not fucking destitute by any means but like most of the money that i make goes into production expenses or rents on this place my studio or whatever you know what i mean um sets costumes 
camera equipment, that kind of shit. Um, yeah, I mean, as far as uh, actual kind of personal expenses, I actually kind of just started for the first time in my adult life. I kind of like just fucking started um, making kind of like extraneous uh, sort of expenses, like on like a regular level. Like every once in a while, I like, like treat myself and stuff before, but I kind of just started doing like, oh, I'll just like buy fancy wine. <laughs> you know what I mean? For like, like regularly. And uh, it's fucking awesome. No wonder people want to be rich. It's just like, oh man, I have, I have fancy wine now. But yeah, normally I'm, I'm not that kind of person. Normally I'm, I'm very frugal. Um, and uh, yeah, most of the shit that I do spend, yeah, again, just large amounts of money on is uh, this kind of insane bullshit. Uh, it's fucking making movies shit, you know, because it's uh, kind of what I fucking live for. All right. Um, why don't we... Should we do this first or should I answer some questions? I'll answer some of your questions before we do the hair. I feel like I'm, you know, I'm, I'm taking a long time to do this, but I guess I also, you know, want to be entertaining. Okay. Um, uh, excuse me. Jesus. Fuck. Um, thanks for the five bucks. Australian views on Christopher, Christopher Hill slash 1640. Um, English Revolution, your Puritan, uh, Puritan documentary inspired my uni history essay. Uh, I am sure I enjoyed his worm's eye view. I, I'm, I have not read much Christopher Hill. Um, so I guess I don't really have much many thoughts on it. But uh, that's fucking cool, though. Keep up the good work, bro. Thank you. Thank you, dude. Would you consider making a video going over the Pinkerton's role in the Civil War and our activities in New Orleans after the war? Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe. Maybe. Uh, are you watching Masters of the Year? I am not, although I have seen lots of nerds jizzing over it, so maybe I should. All right. What do you think? Is this a little too long? Maybe. Ooh. Oh, fuck. Oh, that. Now we're fucking talking. Yeah, we're going to give him a. This guy's going to have a fucking beard. A long fucking beard. I already have a white haired, a white haired skeleton. We call him, uh, you know, fucking Sergeant Targaryen because he sort of, he, he was in the, the crypt scene. He, um, you could, uh, I should put on my fucking COVID mask. Not that this is going to do anything. I really should have a fucking gas mask, but, um, but yeah, so, but we, so we have a, a, uh, a, a, uh, fucking Targaryen looking guy, but we don't have a Santa looking guy. So this one will be a Santa looking guy. All right. What have we got? Um, did you ever do anything on, on Woodrow Wilson and his presidency and policies and politics? Not really my area of expertise, dude, but thanks for the five bucks. Have a Bob Ross moment. <laughs> also, that skeleton is a cookies and cream looking motherfucker. He is kind of a cookies and cream looking motherfucker, isn't he? And Mark Zimmerman again. Uh, how do you think that historians will think of the 21st centuries? Oh, fuck. I fucking know, dude. Also, would you do a video about the Texas Revolution in the future? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, I am... Uh, not super interested in that, but long time sub and a big fan. Thank you for the five bucks. I've gotten several people into Ravenous. Nice. Thank you. Love uh, from Louisiana, dude. All right. Let's see what the fuck we're doing here. All right. Probably going to need uh, some sort of tool. Yeah, honestly, I forgot how, how I did this the first time. But, uh, you know, there was no how to make a skeleton tutorial. Uh, that I was aware of, so I made it up as I went along then. So I'm going to make it up as I go along now. Melt, motherfucker. Melting his face. Ah. Oh. There we go. There we go. It's melting. It's melting. I don't know. It's going to need a bit more of a melt, I think. Ah, shit. Ah! <laughs> nice. It's the beginnings of a fucking beard right there. 
And now we're going to... Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, it kind of fucking uh, melts the hair a little bit, too. Now that's... Now those are some fumes, baby. Those are some fumes. All right. Ah, there we go. In you go, motherfucker. Maybe I didn't put enough. Uh... Oh, this is kind of going rougher than I would thought. Um, might not have put enough uh, enough clay there on the chin. Okay, it's looking like a pretty solid beard so far. Let's fucking melt this hair too. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna put all the hair on, and then I'm gonna melt it. And that'll get rid of some of this excess fuzz, too. But uh, and then the melting will kind of make it a little shorter. Melting hair with Andy. New fucking program. Um, all right, let's get a little more hair here. Mm. From this Daenerys Targaryen wig. I actually remember... Uh, the last time that I that I made skeletons, I was on a real uh, this is so fucking dorky. I was on a real history of Westeros podcast kick. So I was listening to uh, Aziz and what's her face and Trevor or whatever that fucking guy's name is for hours and hours and hours. It was incredibly dorky, but I had fun. Ah, oh, Jesus fuck. All right. You know what I might have done actually before? I suspect that I just forgot about this. I might have done the painting after I put on the, the hair. Um, I'm pretty sure I did, actually. <laughs> so I might just be going about this in a fucking stupid way. But uh, nice. That's a fucking good looking beard right there. All right. Can't see a whole lot of uh, contrast, but you will when, uh, when his uniform's on. All right, now we're gonna fucking melt the hair. Yeah, see, that's kind of got this like fucking gross, kind of ratty look to it now. Yeah, it's nice. And then this will actually Help secure. It's fucking burning. Ah. All right. And you know what? Now I'm going to put some more paint on it. Um. And uh, that will. Yeah, there we go. I'll kind of. Meld it back on there. Yeah, I think it would be best. Yeah, see, I don't know. It's like, because you want the... I think that's the way I did the way I did the last time was that I actually... I did the clay and then I painted it. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. But then, it's, then you kind of have to, like, paint the, the hair a little bit, too. And that's, like... Kind of a fucking bummer, honestly. I don't know. It, it just doesn't, like, look as good. All right. Well, in any case, I'm going to put a little more brown on here. Sort of have it uh, 
sort of have that matching kind of cookies and cream type of thing going on. Yeah, there we go. Maybe even like a little bit of yeah, a little bit of brown in his beard. Why not? Let's salt and pepper it. More on. Yeah, there you go. One more white right there. Nice. He's looking fucking good so far. All right, now let's give him a mustache. All right. Uh-oh. Oh, Jesus. What kind of mustache should we give him? Like, maybe... Nah, that's way too much. We'll just do like a little bit at a time here. Nothing too crazy. All right. Oh, fuck. Oh. Mm, even that's... A little too long mustache. We'll see. Woo, baby! Damn it. Fuck. Yeah, I think the paint... I think... All right. Yeah, I think the paint doesn't melt like the clay does. So it's giving me some fucking difficulty, I'm not going to lie. Um, fuck. All right. That's all right. We'll survive. We'll survive. Let's just fucking give him a bit of a haircut there. Um, and, uh... God, dude. Ah, fuck. Yeah, this is a disaster. Fuck, man. All right. Uh -oh. I think we're going to have to scrape this paint off. There we go. Scrape that shit right off. And, um, oh, fuck. You know what? It is stupidly simple that I should just fucking try. It's just try to paint the uh the mustache on all right i'll try that i'll just try painting it on Let's see if that works if we just fucking and then we can trim it make it pretty later right now he's looking a little bit like the fuhrer but i mean that's staying that's sticking Maybe that's how I did it last time. I honestly have no fucking memory at all. Okay. Did I use hot glue? How did I fucking do this? I thought I just used the clay. But I could be just fucking horribly mistaken here. Okay. All right, yeah, he... Looks kind of like shit right now, but, you know, it'll look better, I promise. Okay. Yeah. Well, it looks looks like dog shit, but it's staying on. And then give him cover some of that shit up. Ah, fuck. Never mind. It's not staying on. Let's spread some of this shit out. I'm sure on on the SD camera. It kind of just looks like white on white. Maybe you can sort of see. Yeah. 
but uh, <clears throat> all right. So here's what we're gonna do. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim the mustache. I'm gonna melt it a little bit. And uh, yeah, we'll see what that looks like. In the meantime, I need a paper towel before I uh, touch much more shit. Okay. Okay, let's try to just give this a fucking trim here. Nah, it's not gonna fucking stay on at all. Fuck. Ah. Okay. Those will, though. And the beard is actually staying on very nicely. Um, so what we're going to do is melt it. And then that will basically... I'm going to plaster it on there. Yeah, there we go. And it'll melt some of these stubborn strands. Okay, all right. Yeah, I mean, he's got a mustache. Maybe, uh, maybe he needs more hair kind of on each side of his chin there too. Yeah. Ooh, maybe some eyebrows. Some big, thick, bushy eyebrows since he's got the fucking Cro-Magnon uh, brow. I like that. Oh God, we're hemorrhaging viewers. We're hemorrhaging viewers. Less than 300 viewers, dear God. Oh, how long have we been on here? Oh, an hour and 30 minutes. Yeah, normally it does not take this long. Uh, back when I made stuff for the crypts, I mean, I was knocking this fucking shit out. Um, I, would, I, would, I would make two a day, three a day. But those are my glory days, you know. Can't do that sort of shit anymore. The glory days of skeleton making. Mm, oh. Fucking paint it on. What am I doing? Okay. Oh, Jesus. I'm almost scared to check the chat. These past maybe five minutes of skeleton making have just been a fucking train wreck, a lesson in incompetency. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. There we go. I got that on there. Fuck, man. Come on. Yeah, I don't know what I did with this fucking... I must have... Uh, I, I, I must not have painted them before. Let's get some fucking... A little bit of salt and pepper, a little bit of black in there. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely going to need, like, a bit more of a paint job. That's for fucking sure. And you can see the clay. It's actually dripped into the beard here. Not gonna lie, I, I you know, it's been a bit of a bumpy road, but I think he's coming together beautifully. What do you guys think? All right, let's put on a little more beard here and get uh, started on the hair. Um, but uh, let me uh, fucking uh, ah, hey V, rise army of Susans, indeed. So Susan, for the uninitiated, um, in um. 
the in my first feature film, uh, which I co-directed, um, I guess Sudbury is kind of, you know, sort of my first real feature film, but uh, Alien Baby is my first feature film, a co-directed, very, very low budget thing. And uh, we had a skeleton that we used for many aspects of the production, and her name was Susan. Painted her. I mean, we used her for fucking years doing uh, pickups on that shoot. Painted her all sorts of different colors. Used her for all sorts of different crap. And then uh, most of the skeletons that that I've owned since have been named Susan. Kind of like Geralt of Rivia with his fucking one name for his horse. Okay. Nice. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. The fucking uh, that, that came on. So I kind of melted it a little bit, and then I fucking painted it on. And that's fucking good. It looks great. It looks fucking great. All right. Let's give him. Actually, this I'm kind of digging this gray. That I'm kind of putting on right now. It's nice. Okay. Let's melt the fucking shit out of this. You see the, the the smoke rising as I burn this hair. Like I said, you know, probably lots of fumes coming off of this that uh, are unhappy fumes, but uh, I don't want to live forever. All right, looking fucking great, dude. Really coming together now. Okay. All right, I'm gonna give him a little bit of a shit. I got a fucking clean brushes here. I'm gonna give his paint his mustache white. Give it a little more contrast. I don't know if that's gonna help at all, but a little more contrast from uh, from the rest of him, which is kind of turning out to be sort of this gray type of thing. Um, okay. Now let's see about our hair here. So I think I'm just going to make it real fucking short, kind of on, on all sides. And yeah, we'll do a similar thing. We'll kind of we'll melt, and then we'll paint it on. Nothing nicely. Okay. There we go. That's a little longer than I intended, but yeah, check it out. Hell yeah, that looks fucking great. All right, yeah, there we go. Melt and paint it on. See, you figure shit out by doing. That was messy as fuck. Here, I'll turn the, uh, I'll turn him around so you can see what I'm doing here. But yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Man, this Targaryen wig is picking off a lot of fucking gross shit from this yard. Daenerys, Khaleesi. If you could only see your hair now. Um, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.
Yo, you little fucking bitch. Get in there. Fuck. Stay. Stay, motherfucker. Blast him! Oh, yeah, there we go. Not that shit right in there. There we go. Beautiful. Am I about to run out of... Oh, hello, kitty. A cat friend just joined us. Uh, I might, I'm going to have to uh, plug my computer in here in a second. Figure out how to do that. Maybe I'll do that with the extension cord and I'll just kind of get the melting gun right now. And uh, then we will see what we're going to do here. All right. On the fucking clock now. Will Andy be able to attach all this air before the computer dies? Get the fuck on there, you motherfucker. Okay. That didn't quite work, but what are you going to do? All right. Can't wait for this guy's proud appearance in the finale. I wonder what he's going to do. I, I do kind of like the idea of shooting his head off. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these skeletons. They take up a lot of room in the studio. I'm not going to lie. It is a little difficult to store them, so maybe I'll sell them on the Etsy store. There are a couple of, I don't know if... Uh, if that's something any of y'all check. But uh, there are a couple of, of things on the Arts and Shea Films Etsy store. Some memorabilia um, that I posted not too long ago. But uh, yeah, maybe, you know. I can pack these guys up, sell them to the highest bidder. There you go. Get the fuck on there. Get them out of here. All right. Yeah, that's looking good. I'll have to. I use brown paint because I'm for the head because I ran out of white paint. But I'll, I'm gonna, you know, I'll touch it back up in a second. Let's uh, just get one more, maybe two more fucking solid chunks of, uh, of white hair on here, and then uh, we can move on to the next step. The costuming is gonna be fun. Will ruin that beautiful Confederate uh, general's outfit. Oh my god, it's fucking bubbling. Content creator gives himself cancer with fumes in real time. Love it. Love it. Get on that motherfucker. Ah, fuck. Okay, thank you. Get you on there. there we go. All right. <laughs> I mean, I think uh, I think he looks fucking phenomenal. Uh, look at that. Look at that shit right there. Look at that. All right, now we're just going to melt some of this hair. Fucking incredible. All right. I'll be uh, back to answer viewer questions in a moment. I got to plug in the computer. Hold on.
Okay, I'm back. Uh, and uh, right on time, because the computer is like going to fucking die. And uh, it's not plugging in. Oh, there we go. That's why. Jesus fuck. All right. There we go. Oh, my God. Woo. The suspense was fucking killing me there. All right. So here we go. We have our guy here. He's looking fucking awesome. As you can see, he's got hair. He's got a fucking big long beard. Santa Claus looking motherfucker. And what we're going to do now, uh, well, first, I'm going to touch him up with a little bit of paint. I know this painting part's taking forever. But then we're going to get his costume on and we're going to distress it, um, which is going to be a lot of fun. fucking burrs and shit out of this wig. We're going to distress it, which means we're going to fucking cut it up and put paint on it and all sorts of bullshit. It's going to be great. It's going to be fucking awesome. All right, let's uh, see what we got here. Uh, Hontess, thank you for the five bucks. Thanks so much for your hard work. You're very welcome. Put perspective how the USA conducted itself in World War One and two. Sherman will love the A-bomb. Probably would have, yeah. That's what my grandfather looked like when we found him. Ugly bastard. Noise. 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 Um, okay. Just going over the chat real quick. Make sure that there's no uh, obvious flame wars or overt bigotry. Uh, uh, I don't know. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. Okay, which is always a good sign. Okay, um, what are we gonna do now? What the fuck? Oh yeah, paint. All right, let's get some uh, fresh brushes in here. I'm rapidly running out of them, to be honest. Let's get some fresh brushes. And see what an absolute fucking mess my cardboard palette is. Uh, but uh, you know what? not clean work, but it's honest work. Uh, all right. What do we got? What do we got? There we go. Nice clean one here. Get some white paint. Cover up some of that brown. And uh, some of the clay as well that we kind of exposed here. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, it looks fucking phenomenal. You're a fucking superstar, dead guy. I guess uh, since he's, you know, he's got a little bit of character now, maybe uh, you guys in the chat could start uh, thinking of a name. I guess he could be like a Confederate general, you know, an actual one, a real one. It's always that option want to be historically accurate not only with a zombie film okay that's maybe a little too much more white there great oh shit too much too much Back. Too much. Oh, well. Whatever. Nice. Looking great. Looking fucking great. All right. Cool. All right, now let's get his fucking... Uh, let's get his clothes on. I shall return momentarily. We're going to punch out to a nice wide shot here. That's wide enough. <laughs> Oh, look. Uh, 
full frontal. Get that freaking snoozy, yo. Okay. Hey, look at that. Looks fucking great, doesn't it? So, I'm going to distress this hat. And, uh, but first things first, we're also, and we're going to distress uh, the coat, but we're going to put it on first. get you in there buddy oh. putting the coat on a skeleton sort of than it looks y'all what the fuck is this it's ripping bits out of this cheap ass confederate coat my my normal uh confederate uh coat supplier on ebay um didn't have any they weren't in stock so I, I tried a new vendor but uh i got halloween costumes um and i don't buy wool anymore so made sure that they were like cotton which this is yeah it's just fucking you know it's a nice high quality like i mean i you know it's not high quality in that it's you know uh, it's not a high quality costume in that in that it's a just a fucking confederate costume but uh, it's a high quality Halloween costume. It's not polyester or whatever. It's some, some nice fucking vaguely historical looking cotton. And it's got the nice design on it. So, you know, as far as your bigoted, shitty Halloween costumes go, it's up there. Who was that uh, member of the royal family who dressed up like a Nazi? Is that Prince William? Isn't he like the popular one? Don't people like him now? Oh, uh, yeah. Did anybody hear about King Charles's cancer? Is he going to kick the bucket anytime soon? He's probably going to be fine, honestly. Just with all the fucking money. It was Harry. Okay, it was Harry. Is he like one of the bratty ones? I can't keep them all fucking straight. Maybe I'm a racist toward inbred people, but they all look the same to me. You know, I went to um, this wonderful island in the Caribbean for my honeymoon. It's a place called Saba. It's in the Dutch Caribbean, Lesser Antilles. Um, and thankfully the cruise industry, the cruise ship industry had, uh, hadn't established a presence there because the, it's just cliffs. You can't dock a big boat there. You've never been able to dock a big boat there. In fact, historically the, um, come on, you little fucker. I have to rip this fucking bitch to get this on. Um, historically everything was brought in, uh, to the Island on this fucking shitty rocky beach and um carted up this 700 vertical feet this like dragonstone looking motherfucking walkway my wife and i walked it it's insane and exhausting uh, up to the lowest village called the bottom so all all the supplies on the island would be like carted up by hand um for for you know fucking centuries up this this thing called the ladder it's just this really steep staircase and um uh it's like it's a fairly it's got a tourist industry like tourists come but it's like all fairly um it's like fairly niche and stuff no, no, i can't see my fucking uh so it's fairly niche not a lot of people go it's mainly kind of known for the diving i guess which i do want which i don't know how to dive but i i want to get into it because uh uh it looks fucking awesome i'd love to do underwater photography too but in any case um the uh so yeah not many tourists come there so it's you know a lot of a lot of the people who live there uh, have their families have lived there for like 400 fucking years so we made friends with uh 
this one family. Um, it's kind of this extended clan. And we made friends with them just because we kind of kept running into them. Uh, called the Johnsons. Their families, uh, they'd been there since the, uh, since the 1600s. And um, one of the Johnsons' wives told us, just like very, it was like one of the first things, first conversations that we had with her. She was just like, oh yeah, all the Johnsons, they're just like fucking horrifically inbred. We were like, oh God, okay. Uh, that's, that's a hell of a thing to just volunteer that information. She was like, yeah, yeah, you know, they've been interbreeding like the Johnsons and the Hassles. They've been interbreeding since the 1600s. Nobody really fucking, you know, this island is like pretty out of the way, like St. Martin's nearby, but that's like the sort of more of the commercial center, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, they're just all fucking inbred. Oh, okay. <laughs> sure. Uh, small town life, small town life. He looks fucking great. Does he look great or does he not look fucking great? All right. So here's what we're going to do now. We are going to fuck up this costume, right? I'm just going to fucking cut holes in this fucking hat. There we go. There we go. It's, it's cute, actually. You can see the, uh, it's literally, this is like some, some fucking, uh, the hat band is like a, uh, a, uh, you know, fucking window thing. Uh, it's pretty, pretty cute. Pretty cute. All right, let's fucking cut this shit right up. Cut that fucking shit up. Go. There's another big hole here in the front. Nice bullet hole. Ooh, that'd be fun. Yeah. Nice little bullet hole. Oh, fuck. You know what I should do? I should set this on fire. Set the top on fire like it, like it got shot. Like he got, got a bullet to the head. Do I have any lighters here? That's a good question. Do I have any lighters? I think I do. Actually, I should lift him up a little bit more on his stand so he's kind of more of a height with me. I feel like I'm kind of either out of the frame awkwardly or he's out of the frame awkwardly. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to get some fire. I'll be right back, and we're going to set fire to him. Okay, so I don't have a lighter. I have matches. This is like the worst fucking tool for this job, but. Yeah, just a little bit of burn there. What if I just fucking leave it on? Let it stain. Now that just went out. I actually got a nice stain in there. But yeah, we're going to burn more. Set more fire to this. And then we're going to paint it like there's some fucking ugly, like this is like a kid's costume. It had like a rebel flag right there that I ripped off, but it's still got some of the, <coughs> some of the ugly kind of like leavings. And we're going to fucking paint over that, all that type of shit. Um, oh, that's actually really nice. I wonder if that's like, I don't know. It might just, it might be a little too subtle to be honest, especially since we're shooting these guys mainly at night. And, um, you know, what we could always do is, ah, no, I don't know if this plugged in anymore. The computer's plugged in. Ah, never mind. We'll just fucking paint it. All right. Um, okay. Let's fucking, uh, distress this costume. He looks great, doesn't he? Looks fucking great. Um, all right, let's see what we got. As a descendant and namesake of John Bell Hood, uh, looking for very specific memorabilia. Yeah, totally. Thanks for the dollar, Sam. Fun fact, I'm 14th cousin to the Crown Princess Estel of the Swedish royal family. My granddad got in royal family history. Got to 1350, I think. Oh, that's really fucking cool. All right. Uh, someone says piss on him. Uh, that's funny. All right. Uh, yeah, let's fucking, uh, let's give this guy some paint. It's, ah, it's gonna be such a shame to just like fucking 
cut up and paint this uh, this outfit, but um, but not that much of a shame. And you know, it's got to match the hat, so yeah, I'm not that worried about it. Okay. Oh shit. You know what I forgot to do? Let's give him some blue or some green. We're gonna get some of that. Actually, I think the green, especially on the costumes, like just this little bit of green, it adds that kind of mossy type of look. You know what I mean? Like a few of them uh, have green on them. And it sort of, you know, it gives the, the sort of this, yeah, again, sort of like the shit's been growing on them as they've been kind of like in the uh, in the ground for a long time and that kind of thing. So I'll be right back. All right, well, I guess I don't have any blue. Must have used it all on the crypt way back when, but uh, uh, but I sure got some fucking green, and we're going to make it happen. We're going to make it happen. Um, all right. Okay. God, this fucking palette is a mess. I'm going to have to fucking invest in a new one, I think. All right, buddy boy. Let's get some green on you. Some green on his face here, just a tiniest little bit. Yeah, I yeah, it already adds a lot. Again, just like a little bit of contrast, you know. Kind of it's vaguely kind of fungal type of thing. It's not that fungal. I guess it's more sort of, yeah, lichen or something. But, oh, shit. Here goes his hand. Okay. That's nice. Okay. Hands up there, motherfucker. Come out with your hands up. Yeah, oh, that's nice. Oh, excuse me, Jesus fuck. It's kind of more gray, but yeah, that's nice. Really like that green. I'll put some on the hat. Some general fucking white on the hat too. Yeah, that's nice. A little bit of black too. Can you get there? Maybe you can't see it too well. I mean, you can see the white pretty well. It stands out. But yeah, the green is looking good too. Yeah, we're pretty much just going to fucking give it a nice... Sort of. Yeah. Get some black around here on the edges. Make that look kind of torn and just kind of rotten and shitty. And then what we're also going to do. Oh, fuck. So I'm just literally going to fucking drag this in some dirt and some mud underneath the building. I think that'll add a good amount. Oh, there we go. Nice. Yeah, I smell the lag. I'm gonna put it around the hat band and shit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Looks nice and fucking stained and shitty. I'm going to rub this in some dirt. Okay. 
the dirt of the grave. All right. Yeah, check it out. There's a little bit more we can add kind of on the back edge here, but otherwise looking pretty, pretty, pretty good. So you got to make sure that the front kind of looks better than the rest of it because front's kind of mostly what we're showing. Nice. Look at that shit. Look at that. Doesn't he look spiffy? Kind of looks like he's going, you know, Heil Hitler. <laughs> Appropriate for a Confederate. All right. Well, that'll make people mad. All right. Look at that. Eh, the lighting isn't great. The camera's even worse, but he looks great. Trust me. You can trust me on that, that he looks like a fucking superstar. All right. Now we're going to. Oh, fuck. What did I do? Um, all right, now let's distress the costume, and then we're kind of well on our way here. I've also got the pants here. Probably just do this separately, maybe after the stream ends, because I've been doing this for a while, and um, I don't know. Unless you're just dying to see me put paint on some pants, uh, <laughs> which I'm sure so many of you are. All right. Uh, fucking hey, what kind of paint we want? Let's probably use up some of the black, maybe. Yeah, let's see if I fucking nice. Okay, here we go. Yeah, nice. Maybe some more brown too. That'd be nice. Mix some of the brown with some of the gray. Let me get some shit down here. Yeah, again, kind of a fucking shame. We're just fucking wrecking this nice costume, but whatever. Whatever. It also looks like it's a little too big for him, so I might actually cut off some of the sleeve um, so it fits him a little bit better. Maybe I could burn the edges. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, nice. Looks nice and sepulchral. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> it's looking great. It's looking fucking great. I put those scissors there. They are. Give it a nice rip. There we go. Yeah. How long has this lain in the earth? There we go. Fuck yeah. Nice. That actually fits him a lot better. Still like a little big, but. Oh, yeah. There we go. Nice. So he's like, ah. Oh, that's pretty fucking cool. Although now I'll have to paint that a little bit, but that's okay. That's okay. It's all part of the process. Oh, shit. My glasses fell off. Like Benny from The Mummy. I can't see without my glasses. There we go. That's fine. All right. Some white. Nice, nice, nice. Looking fucking great, dude. You look like a fucking superstar. All right. Get that other sleeve off. See, folks, Halloween is whatever type of year, time of year you want it to be, really. Take a little 
it off that too. Why not? Hole right here. And uh, maybe, oh, yeah, cut off his shoulder. He said, You fired on this Calhoun, struck him in the shoulder. Well, that would leave a wound now, wouldn't it, General? Yeah, that's nice. Another big hole here in the sleeve. Don't have to worry too much about the uh, about the back, and we'll paint the exposed parts, but. Yeah, I don't have to worry too much about the back because it's it's kind of rarely going to be shown. I am going to paint it and distress it a little bit, but yeah, we're not we're not really going to see much of it on screen. That's fine. Okay. Nice. All right. Yeah, I'm not going to go like too fucking crazy with. This distressing necessarily, or with like the cutting up of the costume or whatever. Um, I'm gonna get the sash here. This should probably get fucking he's torn up a little bit, but nope. You can see the fucking receipt for the costume company. The costume company that's still in this day and age sells Confederate shit. Well, you know, it's not just SCV members who uh, buy this shit. It's also weirdo filmmakers in New Orleans. Okay. All right, yeah. Kind of just got a little bit of, a little bit of something, something on the sash there. Um, and now we'll get the, uh, the back. And then we, I think, can uh, start wrapping this shit up. He is pretty much, pretty much made. What an adventure. An adventure making skeletons with 264 of my closest friends. Um, All right, I think uh, might be time to fucking name this motherfucker. What do y'all think? I didn't check the last time I asked because I wasn't uh, nearly caught up with the with the chat. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, what the fuck? All right, what are we? What are we? Jet? Jet? Is that a name? Suggestion or is that a typo? I'm not your buddy guy, says Lindsay. Well, that's cool. Why don't you fucking? Here we go. Why don't you go watch somebody else's stream then? Um, all right. Rebel Rick brag. Um, uh, he could. I guess he could be brag. I feel like he should be a general of some kind. Just because, you know, the uniform does look vaguely generally. Although it is single breasted. So that's not a general's. All right. Okay. There we go. All right. Uh, that's enough on the back. Maybe a little more on this. So, you know, but I guess, shockingly, this Halloween costume supplier who still makes racist costumes um, did not care that much about uniform accuracy strangely enough but yeah he you know he's definitely an officer um, nice. he looks fucking great what a fucking superstar man what a fucking superstar he looks fucking adorable so I'm going to do the, uh, I'm going to do the, the pants and like one or two final things when we get off the stream. And then I got to let them dry before I take them in. But, uh, yeah, I mean, he's pretty much fucking done, dude. Let's get that, uh, go. There we go. 
get the shit off of his eyes. There we go. All right. And let's turn him on. There we go. Hey. Well, by God, my friends, we said we would make a skeleton. And we made a fucking skeleton. Look at that. Ah, oh, isn't he adorable? All right, let's let's open his mouth a little bit. I'm gonna eat your brains. Ah, fucking adorable. Let's get some. Uh, let's get a close up. Close up on here. I, my my hands are fucking covered in paint, so I'm not gonna touch my computer. But I'll lean him in. I'm just gonna. Doesn't he look fucking great? Doesn't he look amazing? All right. Let's... Lower your stand there, buddy. There we go. Now we can bring him nice and close. Ah, look at that skeleton. Look at that skeleton. This shit's got a cover in his eyes. Maybe I'll just snip that shit right off, actually. Um, yeah, no. That can fucking go. Great. He's ready for his fucking close-up. Look at this guy. Look at that. Rah, rah, rah. Rah, rah, rah. Rah, rah. All right. Fucking fun. Okay, folks. So we're going to, I guess I'm going to uh, answer a few more viewer questions here and then we'll, we'll call it a day. I'm going to wash my hands though first. Uh, once again, just so I can touch the computer. Um, but yeah, yeah. One second. Uh, I want a name for him when uh, we get back. Papyrus, no. Cletus, no. No. Has to be general something. Or at least a major. Look at this. This is not some 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 backwoods. Uh, this is this is a man of property. This is a man who owns people. I want an owning people name. Be right back. Something gross got in this coffee. Toss that shit away. Um, all right. So <laughs> somebody says he's just standing there menacingly. Um, he is. He really is. Let's get uh, let's frame this up here. All right. Uh, let's have a nice coffee together, ladies and gentlemen. And. Uh, and then we can chat about our, our artistic achievement, toast our success here. Um, Jehoshaphat Preston, ah, Major Shelby Foot, ah, those are both those are both real good. Jehoshaphat Preston. All right, those will go on the short list. I th I think we could do better though. I think we can do better. Um, any more viewer questions? Uh, oh no, we should. <laughs> Somebody says Major Mike. Hunt. Just FYI, uh, YouTube, Mike Hunt. You know, you can't say that anymore. On YouTube, you get to monetize. The Australians and the British, um, they're aghast. Major P. Roperty. Uh, Colonel Cadaver. Oh, that's adorable. Colonel Cadaver. Jebediah Rattler. You could call him the milk drinker. That's too perverted even for him. Uh, General Grievous. <laughs> uh, we're going to call him uh, Darth Icky. Uh, 
and uh, he's going to be named uh, General Grievous and Dark Ithi Icky, Dark Insanius. <laughs> um, I think Colonel Cadaver is, uh, is, 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 is at this point, the clear, the clear uh, front runner, but my mind is open. It was fucking great. It was a little bit. Of, it was a little touch and go there for a second, but uh, he looks fucking dope. Look, look at I, I think I really think we were just lucked out with the uh, with the costume here. I mean, it's just a dope costume. I was afraid that he would look like a little bit too much like Lee because I've got you know the skeleton of, of Robert E. Lee in there. Um, but I don't. I think he looks nice and unique. Um, I think the beard turned out really well. Um, we actually we do have Lee kind of commanding the troops, but this guy could be you know. It was kind of lead a division or whatever, you know. Um, yeah, I don't know. Colonel Cadaver, he could lead. He could lead a. a well, I guess it'd be a, a regiment if he's a colonel. But Arthur Cadaver, since he's a cadaver. Uh, yeah, yeah. Colonel Arthur, Colonel A. Cadaver. Well, it's like they always, you know, it's like A. P. Hill is whatever. They always had like all the Civil War uh, fucking officers. You know, they used three names like serial killers, which you know, they pretty much were. I mean, every fucking you know. All these generals that all these fucking civil war buffs jizz over. Oh, he's so honorable. He's so he was a fucking mass murderer, dude. These people were all mass murderers. But maybe that's just me being Quakerish. Um. Yeah. All right. And I think Colonel A. Cadaver is. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll settle on that. How about that? That sounds great. Colonel Arthur Cadaver. Uh. And uh, yeah. Thank you all so much for uh, for coming along with me and um, and and making him. I, I think he looks fucking phenomenal. The you know with with the pants, well, I'll put the pants on. You know I might just fucking like tie them on there with zip ties or whatever. That's what we've been doing with the weapons. Like when we were shooting with them um, on Sunday, basically zip tied swords and like little plastic guns and stuff to their hands. Um, the trouble, of course, with these Halloween store, well, this is a, these are Home Depot skeletons, but in any case, these kind of Halloween store skeletons that, you know, their their hands and their arms are so weak that uh, that they can't really hold, like, even, like, like a wooden, like, toy rifle, right? Like, even, like, sort of, like, a little fucking, like, you know, a little toy musket or whatever. Like, I'm sure many of you had when you were kids or whatever. I certainly did. That's like too heavy. It just drops. So it's got to be kind of puppeteered or whatever. So they basically need like very, very light. I'm going to go to Party City or the Party Supply Store um, here in town to uh, to try and get something else. But like, um, yeah, to try and just get the lightest thing possible. So, you know, they can kind of like be posed with it and stuff. And and yeah, like I said earlier, uh, for those of you who are here, you know, we're going to sort of get some dowels and stuff so we can kind of puppeteer them, maybe paint them black since we're shooting most of these scenes at night paint them black and then we can sort of the dowels will kind of move their elbows and stuff as it goes. Um, but yeah, again, we're, we're still kind of fucking figuring out um, a lot of aspects of the puppeteering and um, yeah, and just kind of trying our best making it up as we go along. Um, but it's, it's fucking fun. It's super fun. Uh, I'm, I'm very glad we decided to go this, this sort of army of darkness route rather than the giant pain in the ass of trying to get fucking 50 people together in a field somewhere um, for a climactic, scene but maybe i've even said too much then um but uh yeah i guess uh if there's no other fucking questions uh doesn't look it looks like we went through all the super chats um yeah i believe we did so uh yeah I i'll say goodbye thank you all so much for for coming making uh colonel arthur cadaver with me he he looks fucking phenomenal look forward to seeing him in the checkmate like a night's finale bye-bye